Hey all everyone, this is Do A Dreamer. So yes, today I'm going to be watching and reacting to the latest episode of Death Battle. And this Death Battle, I have been waiting for for quite some time. And I know a lot of anime fans are waiting to see this one. And an actual research battle between these two iconic heroes, or anti-heroes, if you will. You have Jotaro from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure versus Kenshiro from Fist of the North Star. This is gonna be awesome. And as the fans were saying, it's gonna be ra 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 versus ha ta 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 <laughs> But anyway guys, before going forward, please go to Screw Attack's YouTube channel or their website to watch the original video first in full screen without my commentary and in its entirety. I already watched the pre-analysis. I don't react to the pre-analysis. So if you wanna watch the pre-analysis, you need to go to the original source to watch the whole video. All right guys? Links in the video description, please support the official release. So, yeah, um, I still believe that Ken is going to win due to the Musi Tensai. I mean, it makes him intangible to a point where it's like the state of nothingness. And like they mentioned, like he also adapts some of his old friend, well, fallen friends and rivals' abilities. That includes his brother Toki. Raul, uh, Ray, and many other members of the Fifth of the South Star. And, you know, there's a lot of things when it comes to that Musa Tensai that I think that will be the one that's going to combat against uh, Star Platinum's ability to stop time. Because a lot of people are wondering, how would he be able to avoid the time stop? And I think that's the way to do it, in my opinion. And as for other stats, Kenshiro has the strength advantage, durability, as well as experience. Because he's a well-experienced fighter. I mean, he is the master, the only successor to the Hokuto Shinken as Fist of the North Star. I mean, there are other practitioners out there, but they're not supposed to be practicing it or even know about it. Because once you pick a successor, the rest don't have to have this fists sealed or pretty much crippled to the point they can't use their fists anymore. But Jotaro, I'm not going to take anything away from him. I mean, I thought the whole diamond thing was just him biting into diamonds, but I didn't know he actually did punch through something that is equivalent to the hardness of diamond. And that's impressive. And it's speed, which is like they said that it's probably up to the speed of light, but it might be because of this time stop, but... It's still impressive, but I still think with everything else, I'm going to give it to Kenshiro. But if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, you know? But we're going to see this right here, right now. Right, the the bands are set. Let's, Let's end this debate, debate once and for all. Yeah. It's time for a death battle. It's going to be lots of fists flying. I saw some of the uh, sneak peeks on Twitter. Oh, some hand-drawn stuff. There's Joseph with um, Jotaro. And I know this is being done by Zack Attack. So, so far, Zack Attack's doing an awesome job with it. So there's a lot of hand-drawn elements in this one, which is great. Who are you? Kenshiro. Now, again, I know what people are going to say. He can't see the stand, but... He can sense aura, and I believe that stance can also emit aura. Here we got balls. <laughs> balls as hard as titanium. Yup. So now he knows that there's something out there, so he's going to be able to sense that. Star Platinum, the world. Yeah, so now he's going to feel out the whole thing. He's going to feel it out like always because he's... Yup, he can see it! I told you guys! He can sense the aura. Oh! Oh, again, the speed advantage goes to Jotaro. Oh, Starfinger! Oh, Key Blast! Now, I know some people are saying, can he harm the stand. Ah! After images. Holy shit! 
I think the only time he'll be able to harm... Oh, he's gonna go right for Jotaro! Oh, damn! This close! Good strategy, Kenshiro, but... Oh! But, yeah... Uh oh, time stop. Time stop. Not the heart! No! Oh my god! He almost. Oh, he touched him! He touched him! He touched him! He's done! He's done! Yes! Oh my god, yes! 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 <laughs> so he able to... Yep. But he was studying him at the same time, if you guys noticed that. Told you! True. Wow. I think a lot of people rely too much on the fact that Jotaro stops time and that's how he's going to beat him. Exactly. Yes. However, with his awesome durability plus additional intangibility when using Muso Tensei, mm -hmm. Kenshiro survived the time stops. Yep. And the time stops cooldowns between uses gave Kenshiro enough time to work around them. The mm -hmm. time stop has been worked around by foes in Jotaro's past. Yeah, when they saw that, I thought he missed him. Kenshiro may not have been faster than Star, but a mix of Muso Tensei and Mirage clones were more than enough to get by. Yep. Pretty much it was all the distractions to break through that defense of... So I would to say defensive. Yep. So I would say defense definitely goes to Jotaro. Really, man? That was horrible. Well, yeah, so defense, he had the advantage in defense, but again, Kenshiro's experience in Hoto Shinken, he is a master strategist. He worked his way around that. Let's see who's next. Crash Bandicoot, oh my god, people have been waiting for this for a long time. Crash Bandicoot versus Spyro. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now it makes me wonder if they're also going to use uh, Skylander feats because Crash Bandicoot was also in Skylanders and Imaginators. And Spyro, of course, not just in Spyro the Dragon, but also in Skylanders, so they're probably going to use feats for that one. But anyway... I am happy that Kenshiro finally won against Jotaro. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, well, one minute melee, DBX, or actually one minute melee and also limit break portrayed where Jotaro was the winner. But I think a lot of people keep on using the whole, well, he can stop time and that'll be it. But if they also calculate... Uh, Kenshiro's experience and knowing how he studies his opponent even in battle that he will find a way to break through the defense his defenses and he did and all it took is just one touch to get one hit in and he actually did it and there wasn't even like a punch it was just a boop just a poke boom and that was it he was dead as he said you're already I was so happy they said that line man so uh yeah, I, I really agree with this. Now, again, is this set in stone? No. Do I see a scenario where Jotaro could beat Kenshiro? Yes. I can see scenarios where Jotaro could beat Kenshiro. But I do believe that this was somewhat close of an accurate first um, most likely scenario that Kenshiro would win. But again, not set in stone. This is just a theory. Everyone has their own different ways of interpreting. But I just feel, and some other people believe, that Kenshiro would definitely win against Shotaro. 
So that's where I see. And Zack Attack did an awesome job. Um, hands down, did an awesome job. Even with the hand drawn parts with it. Looks a little bit weird, but it was necessary to get the story in there. And it told a good story out there. And <laughs> Joseph Corner was like, son of a bitch! Because uh, Joe Taro died. But I enjoyed it, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm actually happy and smiling because for the longest time every time I see sprite animation when it comes to Jotaro and Kenshiro, Jotaro always wins and it's to me it's really good to see Kenshiro finally gets a W against uh, Jotaro. Alright, but anyway, I'd like to know your guys' thoughts on this. What do you thought about the animation by Zack Attack and what do you thought about the battle itself? Do you agree that Kenshiro would have the odds in favor for victory over Jotaro. Feel free to leave your thoughts and comments down below. Tell me what you guys think. We got to discuss and debate about it. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Also, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also follow me on Discord. I'm on Discord now, so you also check me out on there. All right, guys. A uh, link to that is in the video description. It's a Discord server of Nerdbender, so you can go, guys, check me out and the other members of Nerdbender. And also, as always. Go to Screw Attack's uh, YouTube channel, please subscribe, and also Zack Attack's YouTube channel, subscribe to him as well. And also check out my new show, Dead um, Battle Mode. It's an awesome show. At least I think so, because I'm the one who created it. But I'd like to know what your guys' thoughts on it, alright? So anyway, this is Dude Dreamer, and always dream big.